Hello, my name is Claudia Joy Wingo and I'm a board member of the National Herbalist Association of Australia and I'd like to talk a little bit about my interests, how I got involved in the herbalist field. It's been quite a long time. Uh, originally, my grandmother was a herbalist in the Ozark Mountains and she certainly sparked my interest there. My dad was a botanist, zoologist that worked for the Department of Agriculture. So I spent quite a lot of time in fields and mountains around the Ozark Mountains picking herbs and then suddenly I decided that that's really what I wanted to do. I came to Australia in 1978, even though I still have this accent, and I got involved with the Herbalist Association when I was a student at the New South Wales College of Natural Therapies and it's evolved from there. I've been doing herbalism since that time, which seems pretty amazing to me. Time flies. Lately, I have been doing a Master of Public Health, and I realized how much the herbal knowledge that I have related to that course. Because in the Masters, we did health promotion, and health promotion that we were doing really relates to herbalism and naturopathy. We looked at all sorts of things that I realized that that's what we do with herbal, oops, well, I would say herbal medicine and naturopathy. We look at teaching people how to live their lives in a healthy way and looking at obesity, looking at exercise, and my big interest has been tropical medicine. So I would say that I found it very interesting how open people were to using herbs within tropical, uh, tropical medicine context. It's so interesting because the main medicine that they use for malaria at the moment is an Artemisian combination therapy. So they use the plant-based medicine from Artemisia annua as the main stay of malaria therapy. And when I talk about that, uh, it's quite funny. When we were doing the course, I just happened to have a sprig of Artemisia annua pressed in my notebook, which I happened to pull out. And everyone couldn't believe that I actually knew what the plant looked like and where it grew. So they're a little bit divorced from the, the actual growing and the harvesting of the plant, but they recognize that there are quite a lot of plants that have the capacity to be working for her tropical medicine in a very, very real way. Um, I have a friend who's been working at the Pasteur Institute in Paris, and they are also looking at plant-based therapies for malaria and dengue fever and some of the other tropical diseases that have been uh, the, the scrounge of particularly the developing world. Stalingia is one of those. And so I think that really this is somewhere that herbal medicine can really show its forte. And I think, you know, as we go forward, particularly with a lot of evidence-based material in herbal medicine and naturopathy, there's a growing awareness that herbs really do have a place in modern medicine and that what we do is very much integrative and complementary therapy. So I think that, you know, people should realize how much we have to offer to the greater community as far as medicine, herbal medicine, naturopathy, health promotion, so important to get people to understand how to take care of their own health. And I think that herbal medicine has such a forte there. We are the people's medicine. So please come and join us. That's what we want. We want public support. We want support from all the herbalists and naturopaths out there because really the National Herbalist Association is here for you. We want you all to join us and get the information that you need. Thanks.